Um, hey, I decided to make one of my videos back in. Um, it was blurry. So, um, in the dream, God was telling me about makeup, jewelry, and uh, there's a lot of stuff in this world that we're doing that's not pleasing to the Lord. If only you guys talk and communicate to the Lord, and every decision you make, you will find out what's pleasing and not pleasing to the Lord. Okay, here's the thing. I had this dream. He always speak me to me in dreams, and um, I was, you know, going down downstairs. Okay, and there was this dark entity under this blank under a blanket. You know, he was covering himself, and when I realized he was there, like the bump, he just kind of got out, and he's like, he got escaped, like he got uh, exposed. You know what I mean? And all of a sudden, I saw myself in the mirror wearing lipstick like this. You know, all of a sudden there was darkness around the whole area like dark like a dark darkness of wickedness and um demoticness you know and and it was relating to me wearing lipstick and guy was telling me it was the lipstick and the makeup wearing the putting on color and changing yourself is what god does not like and um and then um you know i had the you know he was telling me about the you know about jewelry too like i was having is really random. I was having sex with a necklace, and God's like, okay, wearing jewelry is as horrible as having sex, okay? It's as bad as a sin as having sex. Okay, and then I was asking the Lord, how, why is this bad? Why is, you know, what, you know, I mean? Like, why is jewelry bad? Why is makeup bad? And how God was explaining is, I've created you, leave it the way it is, leave it natural. I don't want you to change any way, anything of yourself. Be happy with what you have. Are you saying you're a better creator than me? You think you can do better than I can? Is that what you're saying? You think you're better than God? You know, so you feel like you're not beautiful enough, so you have to slap on some makeup and make yourself look better. So you're saying you're, you're, you are you can do it better than God, you know? And as for the jewelry, okay, God was, was explained to me, everything in this world, the original state, okay, the material was, you know, was created by God, but the idea... The idea was not from him. It was from a demonic being, fallen angels, to tell us to do these things. And it was passed on so many generations, we it, we don't think it's a sin anymore. So maybe, okay, for instance, like condoms and like birth controls and like jewelry and all those. There's a lot of things, you know, talk to the Lord and he'll let you know about it. Those are the few that, you know, he admit that the material was from him from the earth but the idea that producing like sex toys and uh dittos and stuff like that those wicked ideas are not from him and that goes to makeup and jewelry those are demonic and they're from the devil and the uh, demons and stuff and um um i guess it was passing on in the beginning of the, the age like the beginning of jesus christ they start educating people wearing this when they're like really young and really don't know what's going on so uh god was giving me um this is how he explained the dream uh, i had another dream okay and that relate to this dream um in the classroom there was um there's the little little kids you know about two to seven years old and they have beautiful pairs of angel wings and so I viewed that little girl in beginning was me, and later afterward it became my daughter. Okay, so they were lining up on the against the wall to prepare themselves to drink some kind of medicine or some kind of thing to drink to um, make them grow or whatever. I don't know what. Like just but um, the adult, okay, the the teacher, the adult was I was mixing up something for the little kids to drink, but we didn't know what the heck we were mixing up. We were mixing up poison for the, the little kids, and we didn't know it. We think that, okay, they have to come to age where they have to know this stuff and whatever. So the the oldest boy, which is seven, uh, took a, a, a sip of this wine or uh, the poison, and so he drank it a little bit, and he lost his one pair of wing, and then uh, he's like, okay, worked it. He drank it, and he lost his other pair of wing, I guess, you know, they come to age where they have to lose their pair of wings. Their wings means their innocency, you know. The first time they commit, they convict a sin, uh, like it may be a sin that uh, they don't know. Like, you know how when they go to age, they start saying no and, you know, they rebel against you from uh, cartoons and stuff. You'll be surprised. Um, You know, so, um, you know, each one of them, like, 
an age of two to the seven. Some babies, will, some kids will uh, make a sin at two. Some people, uh, some babies will make a sin at seven. Some people will make it at five, depending on the age of um, the qualifying whatever. So um, and then so you know, I was like, why the heck are we feeding our kids poison? To, and then after that, I was holding that baby that was me, but they became my daughter, and she was getting ready to drink her 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 thing too and I she didn't even had a drink a chance to drink and I bumped her wing okay and I knocked her wing out and her wing okay was handicapped okay and I was like everybody have angel wing well, how the heck did my baby have uh, butterfly wings it's more fragile so it had like a, a casing to protect the wing because it was so fragile you know so God said my generation you know, was like that. And now my daughter generation is the wing and innocency is more vulnerable, more easy to be corrupted, you know, easy to be, you know. So I barely bumped it and it broke. Okay. Her butterfly ring broke and it was, it was protected by this case and it still broke and she didn't even treat the thing, you know what I mean? And so, um, okay, God, God was telling me in this dream that, you know, so many generation, Okay, have passed out things that was taught by the Napoleonian demons, demonicness, fallen angels that was passing for many years. Okay, so this generation, we do it and we don't acknowledge that it is a sin. And um, and so what happened is, you know, God was telling me about makeup and stuff. He said, if I don't like you having colors on your eyes, what do you think I like you having colors on your hair? Which is dyeing your hair. And then I stopped dyeing my hair. And if I don't like you to have colors on your hair, what do you make you think I want you to have colors on your nails? Okay, one thing led to another. He said, if I, at the time, I was a nail tech. Okay, I was making hella money. I was making lots and lots of money. I was rich. And... And God was like, if I didn't like you to paint your nails, what make you think I like you to paint other people's nails to promote this demoticness? You know? And I was like, I practically had to give up my job. God was saying, that's how narrow the gate to heaven is. Who is willing to lay off everything to follow Christ? Is that is that is Christ's servant. When you're willing everything on the table for christ you are god's servant you are god the child god you know what i mean you lay everything okay when god tells you and you you know when you don't give it up you know it's not it's not gonna be good don't even try to argue and reason with god if you need to get an explanation ask him he'll answer you but meditate on it um so basically you know i had to give up my job okay you guys thinking giving up nails was hard I had to give up my job, my hella money paying job. I was making lots of money. Think about it. Makeup, dyeing my hair, doing nails. I love doing those things. I like doing it. I like to look pretty. Woohoo, girls don't like to look pretty. But the gate is very narrow, okay? It comes to surgery, okay? If you guys do surgery, I even think waxing your eyebrow is a sin because I have a feeling God was trying to tell me, I create those hair on there for a reason. I, I, if I didn't want you to have those hair, I wouldn't create it there. I left it there for a reason, so don't even try to pluck your eyebrows anymore. I come to a point, I don't even know what it's this. Um, but I think this is a health issue, and you know what I mean? Like, down there and here is a health issue, because it kind of stink. But as for this, it goes for beauty. Anything as for beauty, don't do it, because you're saying that you can do a better job than God, and that's very, very, <laughs> very bad. So the thing is, makeup, jewelry, and all this stuff was the devil and demons idea. My my mom, I was trying to tell her she have a hard time so like she's like, Well, God created this, God created that. I'm I'm like, no, God, yes, he created the material, but the idea behind it was not his. It was the fallen angel. Makeup, hair dye, jewelry, condoms, birth control, uh, fake boobs. You know, ditto, you know, sex toys, okay? That was what the explanation God was telling me. And there's lots more. There's still lots more that he's telling me um, that on TV there's a lot of things that's, you know, showing about gossip, sex, war, stuff, you know. 
a lot of TV show is not appropriate to the Lord. So, you know, there's there's a lot of things when it comes to the Lord. And I'm just letting you guys know that the gate is that narrow. Which one of you want to go to heaven, you guys? Try to strive through that narrow gate. Is how you strive through the narrow gate. Difficult is the way that leads to life. And only a few that find it. Few. I'm talking about 1% here. Uh, every 100 person, 1% one person go to heaven. That's, that's how difficult the way is. I had to give up my job, so it's time for you guys to give up something if you want to follow Christ. You know what I mean? Give it up. It's not worth it to go to hell. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. And I'll be, saw, I'll be seeing some videos online how near-death people, and they went to hell, and they saw people that was obligated wear acid on their face, like for makeup for eternal or dyeing their hair with acid or doing crazy stuff because they weren't you know god was telling them and then you know they so don't get deceived you guys don't get deceived don't just take this video as you know nothing pray on this because god didn't happen to let you see this video for a reason okay god wants to let you know purify yourself you need to be a purified holy bride okay so um yeah god bless everybody Thank <laughs> you.